really wish profiles were like workshop items where we could batch them together with some icon. I mean, I get why they're not doing it because let's let's face it, it would be floppy dicks <laughs> and nipples everywhere. That's all it would be, just a bunch of dicks. Custom icons. So, all right. I, I really try to avoid needing custom icons, but I have this touch menu. I have one through nine. Now, the problem is each one of these has three functions because of activators. All right, so like clicking one is item one, which is primary gun. Holding one and you can see on the bottom left corner, that's speaking to squad leader one. Double tapping one is F1 to change your seat. So there's not really an icon that makes sense for that. <laughs> so I just need a number icon, and I don't understand why they don't have that in there as an icon. They don't have any just numbers. So I had to make my own. And then I ended up, you know, all of these are custom ones. A better one for driving because they also don't really have a clear vehicle icon. There's one that's like a truck, but it's older and isn't entirely clear. It's, it's like fuzzy. I don't like it. But then, like I switched to that and then I, I ch this is a custom one that I put into for infantry. So, all right, but anyways, I'm not really, this is squad, and I'm not really showing this profile off. I just wanted to show you, like, why I needed these custom icons. It's really pretty simple. So we switch over to Photoshop. I just have, this is, um, the dimensions are 512 by 512. And really, all you need to do is, uh, save it as a transparent PNG. Now, I should also point out, sort of, like, let's go check so, okay. Like here are their icons. You can see, you know, it's like a transparent PNG. White. The newer ones are white. That's 512 by 512. The older ones were 256 by 256. So that's probably why they're a little blurry and fuzzy, because they're a smaller resolution, smaller size. And they did a two-color two-tone color, which I personally don't feel works very well. When you apply the tint color on top, it usually just looks kind of... I don't know, it just it doesn't work for me. So I always go with plain white, like the new ones, and then 512 by 512. Now, if you want, you can, like just for an example, I put, just to see if it would work, like my egghead in here, as a PNG, but full color. There, so you can see, like that, it goes in, it'll work. Yeah, so it'll it'll pop in there. Um, it what actually wasn't really something that I was pursuing too much, just to figure out, like, if you need to make it larger and would it scale down, what, I don't know. I'm not going to do that, and that's not really the point of this video. This video is just about how to get custom icons in there. So, as I was saying, you will just want to save for best use. You know, just save as a transparent PNG. Like right here, I even have. Save it as a transparent PNG, and then where to put it. So yeah, here is where they all go. You know, go to your go to Steam in ten foot resource images library controller binding icons, and then as long as you name them something, they will show. Like all of the Steam ones are ghost whatever. So as long as you title them something before G, they're going to show up at the top of the list. And like I group them together, like my Arma ones, and then these I was making just egg icon, like kind of my basics, that I will want to, like, I prefer this sharper speaker than their speaker. 
But yeah, what I would recommend is getting into this controller. Here's where the binding icons are. Just create a shortcut, and then I have that like on my desktop in a separate folder so I can click into it when I need, when I want to dump in some new icons. But yeah, just to be very clear about that, Steam, 10-foot, resource, images, library, controller, binding icons, and they're all in here. Now, what you can also do, which I didn't even really know about this. So yeah, Critical Composer, he's been making some good Steam controller stuff. This is actually an old one, but what you can do, too, is you can put the icons into, you know, game-specific. So yeah, like he goes into the folder for the game, and then you just make touch menu icons. And then in the binding, those will show up just for that game, which is an interesting solution. I don't want to steal his thunder and even cover that too much. I'm just saying that's an option. If you want to do that, go check out his video, because he's showing you exactly how to do that. So props to him. Go check that out. Also, if you go to game-icons.net, this is this is actually where I got a couple of those from. I got the boot and uh, helicopter. Like I was a steering wheel. I think I even grabbed off of here too. But the cool thing with this one is like, uh, well, I mean, there's three thousand icons. <laughs> They're always being added. But from here, I mean, you can basically edit them on the site, save it as a transparent white PNG at 512 by 512 it's ready to go you save that you just rename it to what you want and then you can dump it in and there's a lot and you know a lot of them are pretty clear a little bit more clear than the steam default like i don't we've been joking about this for like two days now on the steam controller discord like there's like 10 sword icons why there's like 10 sword icons <laughs> like no number icons, no keypad number, like, thing, F number icons, like, things that would actually be useful that aren't available from the in, in-game in keyboard. I don't understand why they do that. So, yeah, you go to that site, then you can save them, and then you just, yeah, it's this game one. Like, that's the boot, I saved that. I did not edit that at all. I just saved that off of that website and dumped it in. Same with one of these steering wheels. Another one I kind of made a little bit. This was one that I tweaked a little bit personally. Yeah, and some of my old, my DayZ ones, I was still doing the light gray. And yeah, they're the 256 by 256. So even those I might want to update. But that's something like neither here nor there. But if DayZ ends up putting in like a comma rose, is that what you call it? Like the a radial in-game menu, I probably won't even need these. So yeah, you can make your own icons. The only the only problem is, I mean, you have to import them yourself. We don't have, like, a workshop. I really wish profiles were, like, workshop items, where we could batch them together with some icon. I mean, I get why they're not doing it, because let's, let's face it, it would be floppy dicks <laughs> and nipples everywhere. That's all it would be, just a bunch of dicks. So they're not going to let us put in custom icons. But you can do it from your end, and I, you know, I try to not do it, but sometimes you gotta do it. Save them as a PNG. I recommend transparent white. You can fiddle around with doing a full square color like that if you want. I don't need anything too crazy, so I just go, you know, plain old thing. Dump them in, and then you're ready to go. If you want, you can uh, make a folder in that game following Critical Composer. Yeah, you can follow his guide and put them in per game basis, or dump them in for like global use. So I'll always have yeah. And then like this, that was also something that has come up. Like, why would you want a white PNG? Like, why will you ever need to duplicate an icon? Well, right here, I needed to. This game has color-coded on the bottom right, or bottom left. 
it's color coded by the channels, so then you can very clearly see which which one you're in. And I feel like this speaker icon is a little bit clearer and more matching the game than the default ones. So that's pretty much it. Also, I, I will probably make a touch menu. Just going over touch menu, like make that a full tutorial because you can get pretty complicated. Like this has, you know, a touch menu that has activators. You can stack activators inside of this stuff. But that will be for another day. I just wanted to quickly go over how to put in custom icons because once I push this profile live, it's, you're going to need to get the icons so you can see. Otherwise, it'll just show up blank if you don't have the icons, which is still usable because I try to always put the, the labels to be as clear as what it is. Oh, and then also just as... um community channel notice uh the touch protect giveaway is still going let's make the cutoff for that that will close wednesday july 12th 2017 at at 1 p.m eastern standard time usa 1300 one o'clock yes we'll do that I will commit to that. And maybe I'll maybe I'll make a video to announce the winner. I haven't decided. I haven't figured that out yet. It's all new. But yeah, maybe I'll do like a quick video just so you see who wins. See it's not rigged. I'm just going to do a random comment selection and then uh and then I'll try to get those mailed out this week. I'll try to get them mailed out, you know, Thursday or Friday. We'll take it from there. But yeah, I just I just wanted to make a quick like address that. That's it. Yeah. And that's a quick tutorial on custom icons. Pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy. You dump them in, you're good to go. So all right, I will see you around. A lot of rambling, but I tried to stay on point. Don't think about nipples. Be professional. Hit the tires. <laughs> oh. I love this game. <laughs> yes, you get it. <clears throat> yes, I feel it. The energy vibrating. <laughs> oh, shit.